Hi, I'm George. I would like to introduce to you Selexor Technology, which specializes in the production of high-purity chemicals for large segments of industries. We are in the heart of Silicon Valley, privileged to serve major companies in this valley. In current semiconductor process technology, the principal objective in electronic chip fabrication is minimizing chip size to enhance electrical communication among diverse devices and reduce power consumption. This often involves the creation of multi-layered electronic devices through a deep trenching process. In nanotechnology microfabrication, the conventional wet etching method is unsuitable for achieving these objectives due to its isotropic etch characteristics, which can lead to short circuits among different layers of electronic devices. Consequently, semiconductor fabs must adopt an anisotropic process by utilizing reactive plasma, commonly referred to as reactive ions, for the dry etch process. During the dry etch process, reactive ions such as chlorine gas, fluorine gas, sulfur hexafluoride, carbon tetrafluoride, boron trichloride are utilized to etch materials like silicon dioxide, gallium arsenide, and so on. For photoresist ashing, gases like dihydrogen monoxide or water, oxygen or carbon dioxide, combined with an inert gas, are employed to remove the photoresist layer as part of the cleaning process. However, a challenge arises during the ashing process, where at high temperatures, silicon silica reacts with the photoresist, leading to the formation of stubborn salixy polymers that are difficult to remove from the silicon silica surface. To address these challenges, Selexor presents three distinct cleaning solutions. Selexor offers post dry etch hard polymer cleaners such as Prime Cleaner 10A, Prime Cleaner 10B, and Prime Cleaner 10C. These solutions consist of a special reactive polymer removal mixture in organic solvents with varying levels and cleaning power capabilities. Depending on the employed masking process, the selected molecular structure of the photoresist, the baking temperature, and the desired thickness, users can determine which Selexor Prime Cleaner is most suitable for their process. All Selexor Prime Cleaners 10A, 10B, and 10C are capable of removing hard polymer residues after a dry etch. The standard Prime Cleaner is Prime Cleaner 10A. The other two Prime Cleaners, namely 10B and 10C, are as well used for the same purpose. However, they demonstrate more selectivity towards metal lines. All three variants of Prime Cleaner 10A, Prime Cleaner 10B, and Prime Cleaner 10C can effectively remove hard polymer residues left after a dry etch. Here is an example of how they compare in their ability to remove hard polymer residue after a post-dry etch. Figure 1 depicts the shape of the unclean photoresist on top of silica. Figure 2 illustrates the cleaning process of contamination after dry etching both before and after exposure to Selexor Prime Cleaner 10A. We invite you to visit Selexor Technology and discover more about our cutting-edge cleaning solutions. Our team is ready to provide you with in-depth information and address any questions or specific requirements you may have. Visit us at selexor.com or contact us at info at Thank you for your attention. We are looking forward to addressing your needs.